During these times of social distancing, All India Radio hopes to bring you some comfort, some connection with an exclusive story reading series, Bonding Over the Radio. Coming up is the pick of the day, voiced by the author Ruskin Bond himself. The parrot who wouldn't talk. You're no beauty, can't talk, can't sing, can't dance. With these words, Aunt Ruby would taunt the unfortunate parakeet who glared at everyone from his ornamental cage at one end of the long veranda of Granny's bungalow in northern India. In those distant days, almost everyone kept a pet parrot or parakeet, or lovebird as some of the smaller ones were called. Sometimes these birds became great talkers, or rather mimics, and would learn to recite entire mantras or admonitions to the children of house, such as Paro Beta Paro, study child study, or for the benefit of boys like me, don't be greedy, don't be greedy. These expressions were, of course, picked up by the parrot over a period of time, after many repetitions, by whichever member of the household had taken on the task of teaching the bird to talk. But our parrot refused to talk. He'd been bought by Aunt Ruby from a bird catcher who'd visited all the houses on our road selling caged birds ranging from colorful bajrigars to chirpy little munyas. And even common sparrows that had been dabbed with paint and passed off as some exotic species. Neither Granny nor Grandfather were keen on keeping caged birds as pets. But Aunt Ruby threatened to throw a tantrum if she did not get her way. And Aunt Ruby's tantrums were dreadful to behold. Anyway, she insisted on keeping the parrot and teaching him to talk. But the bird took an instant dislike to my aunt and resisted all her blandishments. Kiss, kiss. Aunt Ruby would coo, putting her face close to the bars of the cage. But the parrot would back away, his beady little eyes getting even smaller with anger at the prospect of being kissed by Aunt Ruby. And on one occasion he lunged forward without warning and knocked her out her spectacles off her nose. After that, Aunt Ruby gave up her endearments and became quite hostile towards the poor bird making faces at him and calling out, can't talk, can't sing, can't dance, and other nasty comments. It fell upon me, then ten years old, to feed the parrot, and he seemed quite happy to receive green chilies and ripe tomatoes from my hands, these delicacies being supplemented by slices of mango, for it was then the mango season. One afternoon, while everyone was indoors enjoying a siesta, I gave the parrot his lunch and then deliberately left the cage door open. Seconds later, the bird was winging his way to the freedom of the mango orchard. At the same time, Grandfather came onto the veranda and remarked, I see your aunt's parrot has escaped. Uh, the door was quite loose, I said with a shrug. Well, I suppose we won't see it again. Aunt Ruby was upset at first and threatened to buy another bird. We put her off by promising to buy her a bowl of goldfish. But goldfish don't talk, she protested. Well, neither did your bird, said Grandfather. So we'll get you a gramophone. You can listen to Clara Gluck all day. They say she sings like a nightingale. I thought we'd never see the parrot again. But he probably missed his green chilies, because a few days later, I found the bird sitting on the veranda railing, looking expectantly at me with his head cocked to one side. Unselfishly, I gave the parrot half my mango. While the bird was enjoying the mango, Aunt Ruby emerged from her room, and with a cry of surprise, called out, Look, my parrot's come back. He must have missed me. With a loud squawk, the parrot flew out of her reach and, perching on the nearest rose bush, glared at Aunt Ruby and shrieked at her in my aunt's familiar tones. 
You are no beauty. You can't talk, can't sing, can't dance. Mm. Aunt Ruby went ruby red and dashed indoors. But that wasn't the end of the affair. The parrot became a frequent visitor of the garden veranda. And whenever he saw Aunt Ruby, he'd call out, No, no beauty, you're no beauty. Can't sing, can't dance, can't talk. The parrot had learned to talk after all.